Warning, this review may contain spoilers, strong language, violence, and content of a graphic nature. It may not be suitable for some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Hi, and welcome to our last Trick or Treat Horror Movie Review. I, of course, am your host, DJ Surreal with Descent Sundays. For our last review, we'll be reviewing Evil Dead, the remake. So, the 2013 remake of Evil Dead, um, I was pretty skeptical when they first announced that they were doing it, and I was like, I don't know, I don't know if they're going to be able to really do that very well. And then I heard that all the original, like, you know, directors and writers and stuff, they were all like, yeah, remake's gonna be awesome. And then I heard Bruce Campbell was like, yeah, the remake's gonna be awesome. And all of a sudden I was like, yeah, the remake's gonna be awesome. And I was really stoked about it. And uh, I went and saw it in theaters with uh, a coworker and I was completely blown away. It was awesome. Um, I really like a lot of the choices that they make. Um, for this film. I like the fact that they didn't recast Ash. This is a whole new slew of characters, which is pretty fantastic. Um, and uh, I also like that they added like some actual plot and substance to the story. So it's like they have a purpose for being at this cabin and there's a whole reason for it all. And um, you know, you still have the stupid person who reads the book, even though it says, don't read this book, and it's all sealed up and whatever, but, you know, that's okay, it's okay. He suffers a lot, so, you know, I feel like he learned from his mistake, <laughs> for all his suffering. Um, one of the things I really loved about this remake is all the little tiny nods to the original. And, um, Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2 kind of have pretty similar premise and, and the movie makes nods to the both of them. For example, in the beginning, um, when they first arrive at the cabin, you see um, her sitting on the car and the car is the exact same model that, that was Ash's car that he drove up there. So that was kind of great. And then, you know, little things like the necklace, when it falls to the ground, it falls, it's, it's, it makes the same shape that the one in, in the original does. And, and, you know, there's lots of little things like, um, uh, the girlfriend uh, cutting off her arm and only having one arm, that's a nod to Evil Dead 2. And um, I also really love that they managed to take a B-rated horror movie that was kind of funny and make it scary, but still keep a little camp. You know, still keep it a little campy. Like, I love the fact, I love the voice that they used for, for um, you know, her possession and and the possessed demon voice is just fantastic. It's just, it's just really great. <laughs> Don't do it, you little bitch! Don't cut it off! Um, I thought that the actress who played Mia was amazing. She did a really good job. Um, I also just loved the ending. The ending just blew me away. Like, I think it's so fantastic, and I'm, I'm a little on the fence as to whether or not I should spoil it with you, because I love it so much, and it's, like, super awesome. Um, I'll try not to spoil it for you. Just watch it. Uh, it's not what you expect. You know, they, they put a little twist on the end, and I really like that. Uh, I also have to appreciate just the general artistry of the film. This, uh, this film is more graphic and gorier, um, and they do a good job. They do a good job of the carnage. Um, if you're a little bit squeamish, you may not like it. It is, like I said, pretty graphic. Um, in the original film, I believe they used like 20,000 gallons of blood. In the remake, 70,000 gallons of blood was used. 70,000 gallons. Okay, now just to put that in perspective for you, that is the size of about two, like humongous swimming pools <laughs> so basically two big swimming pools full of blood was used in the making of this movie and uh apparently the majority of it was used in the final scene where it actually rains blood which was pretty awesome um 
and it was it was a nice touch. Uh, so yeah, overall, I'd have to say the the remake of Evil Dead is a total treat. This is one of those movies I could talk about it for hours. Um, singing its praises and saying how much I love the little subtleties throughout the film. For, for joining me for Trick or Treat Horror Fest. I hope you really enjoyed it. Uh, I look forward to reading the comments on the videos if there is any. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys in the future. Happy Halloween!